Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies. My name is Steve. And this is the lineup from uh, last night's uh, Losers Lane from the live stream, the drag racing that happened. And from that live stream, we discovered that two cars are in need of repair. Uh, both of these cars failed to uh, run on the return track. I'm going to try them out again right now, these two here. Uh, I actually own a, a Corvette ZR1 back in the day. Uh, we got to change its wheels. we got to make the wheels match like the, the one I used to have. So we're going to customize this one, uh, let's get this chassis working again, and then also see what's going on with the Pennzoil Indy car here. Uh, it's very dirty. We're going to get this thing cleaned up, bring this thing back to life. Uh, I'm not going to customize this one. I'm going to leave it as a Pennzoil one. This is one of the ones I had as a, as a kid, so I, I like this one. It's been re-glued many times, but uh, yeah. So let's take a look at what's going on here and get these guys rolling. All right, first off, let's see if we have any uh, power on the track here. No. All right, it appears to be working okay. Uh, the shoes are in need of a major cleaning as my light breaks out over here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, the shoes look like they're in need of major cleaning. The uh, commutator window could use a cleaning. Uh, it needs to be, uh, it needs to have the old slot car of the week tune-up performed to it. So, uh, we're going to do that. And we're going to customize the wheels that match the, the one I used to own. And the Indy car. Uh, same gig. Uh, the wheels, the tires are vintage. Yeah, they're cracked. Oh, yeah, they're all dry rotted. So uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give this one a uh, slot car of the week tune-up as well. So let's see if we can get these performing again. We'll get some ETs and RTs on the drag strip and on the racetrack. Let's get the body off the vet. And uh, let's take off the wheels. Uh, let's get this guy cleaned up. So as you see, the shoes shined up really nice there. Uh, the commutator window is looking really nice. I got some high speed bearing oil here and I'm just going to oil the armature here where it um, goes through the chassis. There we go. And uh, I'm going to throw the wheel back on it here to uh, spin it. I could hear a change in pitch. Now the other track's a little bit higher voltage. But it really warmed up and came to life. Oh, right there. Sounds good. Alright, let's get the body off. There we go. So we're gonna clean up this commutator window as well. Get rid of these tires. Uh, shine up these shoes also and this car I feel like I want to give it black wheels so we're gonna make these gray uh, wheels here black that'll look better with the uh, overall theme of the car versus the dull gray uh, the gunmetal gray and give us some black wheels so in the body here so I got some uh, rubbing alcohol here I've swapped some onto a q-tip and I'm just gonna Clean up all that dirt. Something I didn't mention with the rubbing alcohol is you want to make sure that you want to use a very little bit and go very quickly and dry it off because it will melt the plastic. It will also rip off the tampos. But if you do it right, it looks really nice. It looks even better with the light on. All right, here's our finished product. Uh, they look great. My uh, homage to my original uh, 1991 ZR1 that I used to own. And then the Pennzoil one went on with the black wheels. Clean up the body real nice. It's shining. It looks sharp with all black wheels. Let's see how they do in the drag strip. So right before we get on to that, I want to ask you, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please give a thumbs up to the video. All these things help grow the channel. Uh, me, as well as the others in the community, uh, please do the same for Dan over at Slot Valley Racing. Scott at Scott's HO House of Racing and as well as uh, Buckeye Racing as well. Check these people out, support us, help us all grow together, and now back to the show. 
Right. I'm running into a problem now with uh, my display covering up the track and how far you can see down. I brought the tree in close to the camera, so hopefully you can see uh, the lighting and all that from the launch down there. Uh, I got the ZR1 in the right lane. I got the Formula 1 in the left. Let's see what it does or what they do. Oh, wow. So I warmed these cars up too. I sat here on the return track warming them up. So there you go, there it is. Proofs in the pudding, the Formula One's got the zero and beat. So let's move on to the racetrack. All right, I just, I just did some laps untimed. I uh, pretty much have my finger full throttle the whole way up to zero one. I'm not happy with the performance on this chassis. I might swap it out for another one, but we are here to see what it can do. Let's see what it can do. Full throttle. And just stay on it. All the way until the flat turns right here. Come out. Full throttle. It did 11.11 uh, .11 seconds. So, uh, anything around, that's actually not too bad uh, for one lap, uh, but let's see what the, the Formula One thinks of that. All right, I just ran a warm up lap with the Formula One. It is, it feels uh, night and day compared to the Zero One. It is very fast. In my opinion. Let's see what it can do. I'm not even full throttle. There we go. Almost. Wow. So much speed and power on this chassis here compared to the other one. Uh, I did it in 10.00 seconds flat, so it was 1.11 seconds quicker around the track. Uh, you know, it kind of fits with the, the flavor though, you know, with the Having a, uh, a Corvette and an F1 car, the F1 car should be faster, correct? <laughs> but it would be great if this performed at the same level. I might swap these wheels out to another chassis, though. We'll see. So uh, they look really cool. I wish this one had better performance out of it, but uh, it, it looks just like the car I used to have. I love the Pennzoil with the black wheels now compared to the gray ones, and uh, just cleaning it up a little bit made it really pop now against the background of other cars here in the sea. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, and keep having fun, everyone.